Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. As you probably know, Bamboo Lab has just today announced officially the Bamboo Lab H2C. So we're gonna talk a little bit about this. I'm sorry I don't have one that I can show you myself, so no review at this point. But I do want to uh, talk about some of the uh, features and you know, see what your thoughts are about this. First, I'd like to thank my sponsor, PCB Way. If you need anything printed, CNC, machined, milled, etc., be sure to take them out. I will put a link down below. But let's talk about this new printer from Bamboo Lab. So pretty much the standard stuff that we knew about before. This is their website. There's now all the information on there. Not a whole lot new. Um, with the exception of one thing that we now know for certain is the way that it's going to handle getting filament to, to all of these different nozzles. So if you're unfamiliar, you have the standard nozzle on the left, and then you have the new uh, fast swap nozzles here on the uh, right that take advantage of the Vortex system. It is being fed by an AMS2 Pro or the AMS HT. Um, I was hoping maybe they would make a six nozzle or a six filament variant so you wouldn't have to stack up a bunch of these to take advantage of the six nozzles on the right side but that's not the case we'll talk a little bit about that more you do have the full enclosure so it's going to be great for your uh, engineering grade materials um, one of the things that they talk about is actually dedicating nozzles to specific materials so that you don't have contamination so i guess that's a benefit um, possibly over some of the other systems. Now, what everybody is probably most interested in is the price. Well, if we go to the store, um, if you're in the US like myself, you're not gonna be able to get a price. So this is what you get, notify me when available. We've got this whole tariff situation, who knows when that's gonna be resolved. So much like the uh, P2, yeah, P2S, not available in the US at this time. But let's go back, I'm gonna change this back to the EU, and you can see 2249 for the A, for the Bamboo Lab H2C combo, which is gonna be similar to all of the other combos that you've seen from Bamboo Lab, so you're gonna get the printer and the AMS2 Pro. Now, what I found most interesting is what's included with this combo, and most specifically, the nozzles. So if you look here, um, you're going to have your standard nozzle on the left side, but these induction hot ends, you get four 0.4 millimeter nozzles, one 0.2 millimeter nozzle, and one 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Now, according to Bamboo Lab, they still don't support printing with multiple size nozzles during the same print. So you're going to be limited to the four uh, 0.4 millimeter nozzles on the right side and then the one on the left. So with that combo, it kind of makes sense. You're gonna have the AMS2 Pro feeding those four nozzles on the right side, then you're gonna hang a roll of filament on the left side just on the spool holder to feed the left nozzle. So that's five colors or you know five materials kind of out of the box with the standard configuration. If you want to be able to print with more you kind of utilizing everything you need to get this ultimate set and that's going to give you an additional ams2 pro and an ams ht and they give you different nozzle numbers here so you're still kind of i don't know why they wouldn't just give you six of the 0 0.4 but anyway so make sure if you are making that purchase that you pay attention to that and if you do spring for that ultimate set you're going to pay for it, so 26.99 euro. So in the US, if we go back here to standard, 22.49 euros is about $2,600, and 26.99 is 3,100 and some change. So it is definitely not cheap. Now let's talk about kind of the elephant in the room. The time that it's gonna to take to change filament. Since it's being fed by the AMS2 Pro, it's definitely gonna have a longer time than tool changers. What you're watching here on the screen is a uh, video courtesy of 24 seven printing, and they have a review unit, and they have timed at the time that it takes for the Vortex system to change filaments. Now there's a whole lot of stuff that has to go on here um, in order for it to do that entire filament change. So I would encourage you to go out there and watch some review videos. There are already several 
Um, like I mentioned, this is 24-7 printing. Uh, Stefan over at CNC Kitchen, Kitchen has one. Uh, I also just saw that Joel uh, from 3D Printing Nerd has published one too. I haven't even watched that one yet. But as you can see, it takes about over 40 seconds for the H2C to actually change filament. So with all that being said, now you probably or hopefully know a little bit more about this system. I'm curious, what do you think? Again, is this way different than what you were expecting, way too little, too late. I mean, who is going to benefit from this system? I think there are going to be some folk that can benefit from having the capability and the, you know, this kind of new mechanism. It does give you a lot of potential for multicolor or multi-filament printing, but there are a lot of constraints in the way that they're doing this with the AMS system. Um, it's not going to be near as fast. Some of the reviews have shown that it's still, you know, twice as slow as something like a Prusa XL or the Snapmaker U1. But those machines also have some limitations. The U1, you can only do, you know, four colors or materials because that's how many tool heads are there. The XL is limited to five, whereas the Vortex system, you've got seven nozzles, so you can do, you know, seven. Uh, if you're using it, most of these all will use a purge tower for the best print results. So as long as you are not going beyond the seven nozzles, you won't have any poop, but um, you're still going to have a little bit of waste. But uh, I'm curious as to what your thoughts are. Please drop them down in the comments below. One thing I did want to mention is there is the upgrade that is going to be available. So again, not available here in the U.S. right now. Um, but you can see here in the, in the EU, it's 835 euros. So we're probably going to be somewhere on the order of just shy of a thousand dollars here in the U S. Um, not available until the, not available until Q1 of 2026. And it's going to be a pretty significant, uh, upgrade should you choose to do this. So you can see here, we've got the whole Vortex system that's going to go into the right side of the printer. You're going to have to replace the tool head and it looks like the x-axis here. You've got a different size build plate because the build plate is smaller on the H2C than on the H2D or the uh, P2S. New heat bed, bunch of other stuff, so not an easy thing. Is this something that I'm interested? Well. I'm, I'm definitely not buying, even if I could right now, buying the H2C just because I don't have a use case for it. I didn't buy the uh, U1 either just because I don't do that much multicolor printing. I'm more than happy with the two nozzle system that I have on my H2D currently. But is this something that you're interested in? Would you consider doing this upgrade path or it perhaps purchasing the H2C? Please let me know down in the comments. As always, I appreciate the time that we get to spend together here on the channel. Let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.